Lotus. And yes, it is going to be amazing for your legs and thighs. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe right now and you can download your guide right here. If you haven't yet, you can follow along the entire challenge. It is amazing. You will see so much progress and strength in your legs through this challenge. If you're just joining us though, just hop right in today and catch up later. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to be in a first position. So remember, in first position, you wanna make sure that everything is lined up. Squeeze that booty, lift up those thighs. Knees are gonna track over your toes. We're gonna to do a passe. So a passe means that you lift the leg up so that the toe is barely, woo, try not to fall, barely touching the knee, and then lower it back down. So we're gonna lift and lower just like that. Okay, so the passe, the right leg, the leg is really holding itself. Okay, so make sure that you're not pushing against the leg at all. All right, so you're just barely gliding up the leg. We're gonna do uh, the first side and then the second side. Okay, so we've got two legs, which means we've gotta do 100 on each leg. All right, you ready for this? Let's go, I'm at zero, and let's begin. So we're passe and up. You want to give that booty a squeeze every time you lift. So this is a lot about posture, right? So you want to feel your head lifting up to the sky. Nice. Up and up. Squeeze the booty and feel that center every time the other leg hits the floor. Nice. So if the arms start to get tired, you can bring them down to the waist like this. Otherwise, Try to keep the arms here in a nice first position. This is also really good for strengthening your hip flexor. Our hip flexors get really weak from sitting all day and being in an external rotation, you're not only mobilizing your hip, but you're strengthening it. So lots of good reasons to work on your passes besides the fact that they just look really beautiful. Nice job. You're doing so good. So proud of you for joining in on this challenge. I mean, this is really a challenge, right? Because every day you are committed to your fitness routine, to your strength, to your body. You are going to feel so accomplished by the end. Okay, can you guess where we're at? We are at 60. We got a little bit more to go. Woo, if it gets too much, you can always just go a little bit lower with the foot so you can, um, Modify there if you need to. Also, think about the toe, right? So I'm snapping my toe underneath, pointing the toe. I definitely feel my calf starting to work here. I'm losing grip of my little clock as I get sweatier. Okay, up and up and up. 20 more. All right, we're almost there on our last. Oh, it's so exciting to get there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. We gotta do the other leg, I know. So you might have felt the standing leg get a lot of work. That's great, that standing glute is definitely working to counterbalance the movement of the other side. So we're really getting both legs working at the same time. Okay, so now, you're ready for the second side? All right, here we go. Lift on up and lower down, nice. So you wanna roll through the foot when you go down. So I'm going through the toes to the heel. So it's like toe ball heel. That's what they would always say in dance. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Nice job. So you can experiment with the arms if you want as well. I like to take them out to the side sometimes. Or maybe you want to take them up overhead. See what that feels like. See how it might lengthen your entire body to bring the arms up overhead. Drop the shoulders down if your arms are overhead. And keep the ribs down. Nice. Or you can just keep them here in front. Starting to get a little winded. Whew. You can try to go a little faster, but ballet is super 
graceful and it is about moving slow sometimes, which is definitely more challenging, there's no doubt about that. But it also allows you to really get deep into the muscles in a completely different way. And that's why ballerinas are so strong because they resist and move with this butter-like quality. Nice job. Okay, we're halfway there. Good job, you've got this. Woo. Keep squeezing the glutes. Even as the leg pops up, think of squeezing the glutes. Nice, point that toe. So you're getting your ankles strong as well every time you pop the toes, right? Every time you come into that pointed position, you're stretching the feet. So there's a lot of things happening here. You're also improving your balance because you have to balance on one leg for a couple seconds. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Feeling like a graceful, beautiful ballerina. All right, guys, we're almost there. Almost there. You've got this. 15 more. We're almost at the last 10. And then you can count down with me as well. Okay, ready? Count down at home. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, I am so proud of you. Make sure that you check in with me using hashtag StretchyFit100 so I can see your beautiful face and body doing all this amazing work. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here so I can continue to bring more free challenges and workouts to you. Now, if you are looking for an at-home workout program, then download my Stretchy Fit app. Join me in there and the rest of the community because you get a new workout every single day. Tons of variety with bar, yoga, hit workouts. It's amazing and you will stay consistent the way that the app is designed because you get a new workout every day and you get a program to check into. You can stay accountable. It is awesome and you will see your body goals come to life. It is amazing. Okay, I love you so much. Great job today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.